if I look at anybody and I don't experience some degree of compassion, it's just very interesting to see that as state of mind. Do you see the degree of responsibility this puts on each of us? In a good sense. This is the true meaning for me of accountability, personal accountability. I'm not going to, I'll do the best I can to not blame my experience on other people in the world, and I'll be accountable for my own experience, and then even if I just am filled with judgment, if I know that it's just me, and it's just a view, and it's not truth, I don't buy into it. I still experience it. I still get upset, I get annoyed, I get frustrated, I get bothered. I get really upset. The other day, some guy, I'm driving along and I look in the mirror and he's like about that far from my bumper. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Come on. And I start having thoughts of slamming on the brakes, you know, I'll show them, you know, or I'll just drive me. <laughs> Teach him a lesson. <laughs> I went several miles down the road, just like ready to get out and fight this guy. It's like, how rude can you be? You know, what are you thinking? And then I woke up and I had a good laugh. It was like, oh my God, look what I was spinning. Look at the tail I was spinning. I'm not saying this is easy. It's simple. But there's times when our thinking down here seems so real and so compelling and everybody gets tricked. I don't, I've never met anybody. Nobody is walking around. Now what I learned from Sid Banks is you can have an enlightenment experience and still be tricked by your own thinking at times. Boy, did that put us all in the same boat. That we all have our humanity and at times you see the trick of life, that it's all a thought-created illusion, and that other times it's as real as can be in your of it. But boy, it's great to wake up to the illusion because that's the end of conflict, that's the end of violence, that's the end of wars. It's what's going to ultimately heal and cure the, wo the world of nonstop warring. I'm convinced if you want to bring peace into the world, you begin to see life through an accountable lens where you take responsibility for your own judgments. I can't tell you how many peace workers that I've worked with who say we get so angry and upset about what's going on and innocently they're bringing more of that into the world. Innocently, very innocently. And then you have certain teachers like Thich Nhat Hanh come along and say, you know, you've got to demonstrate peace rather than demonstrate for peace. 